the finals tips from a top 500 player i'm almost top 500 i'm like one game away not really i'm like three games away top 500 but if i were to give people advice on what the meta is and what to play i can kind of show you so there's multiple multiple things you can run as for my medium class coming from somebody who's in the top 500 i focus more on healing and i focus more on support i'm not all about the kills what i focus more on is like healing my heavy so i personally run double heavy so i usually run with two heavies if i do run with another medium that medium player they usually can do heal or the recon i like to play around it i like to play the heal personally for the most part i would say that explosive mine is really good explosive mine technically got a little nerf um this patch because it also doesn't instant kill lights which is the main reason why you run this you i mainly run it to like hold point or to just put on the point and be obnoxious but if you were to play basically play it now i think i would change this to gas mine i have a personal preference some people like to run gas mine the main reason why i personally don't like to run gas mine but i actually like to run gas grenade sorry i'm gonna change that i like to run gas grenade because if somebody's on the point so you're running a gas mine let's say you put the gas mine on the point your teammate runs through it and there's nothing you can do about it, right? You need a pyro nade to get rid of it. I like the gas grenade because it allows me to control where the gas is going and when it pops. And I think that if you use a gas mine, it will trigger and pop, but it, it doesn't, it's more of a, it can also hurt your teammates. Whereas the gas grenade is more of like on ready use. Again, place it strategically. Um, I think gas mine or gas grenade are both good. Secondly, I think if you have two players on the uh, two mediums on the team, or even if you have one medium uh, on the team, depending on like other teams, what they have, I personally also like running sonar grenades. Sonar grenades, uh, if I'm running with two heavies um, and a medium, which is me, I like to run the sonar grenade. So that way, like we can really lock down a point and I can use my jump pad to always get to where I need to be. Defibrillator is a must have regardless of medium class. If you're a recon, doesn't matter. Always run Defibrillator. This is the most broken thing in the game. It's an instant revive. And then I have the heals. So uh, healing beam, uh, recon senses. This is this is my, my setup. A lot of people, if you want to run light, I'm going to give you the juice. So this right here, this setup right here that you see is going to be your fun run. This is your fun little. I call lights littles. So this is my little build. Little is cloaking device, shotgun, glitch grenade, stun gun, and pyro. This is what you run for little. This is the best little class that you could possibly have. You can also change it if you want to be from range and want to be a little, little cool. You can run this. The main reason if you run heavy, medium, light, like I said, the meta right now is heavy, heavy, medium, and medium, medium, heavy. A lot of times it's dome and the shield. If you throw a glitch grenade, especially on two heavies, you throw the glitch grenade and it completely gets rid of the domes, the shields, their, their use of abilities. They pretty much just fold over. So this is probably the best to have on your little if you're playing it. I'm calling them littles. Make it, make it viral, make it viral. But that's me. I like my little to have a glitch grenade. Pyro grenade, you can choose to run pyro um, or gas grenade. The reason I run pyro is if we need to cap a point, and there's a lot of gas because gas is currently the meta i'll throw a pyro nade on the gas and it gets rid of the gas so that's personally what i do also if they're running goo i'll throw the pyro grenade on the goo and it burns the goo if you want to be super super sweaty and fun and it looks really fun this is probably the best setup that you could have it's the evasive dash xp 54 or the evasive dash shotgun this right here is like your pub stomp this is like Maybe not competitive. You can also run it in ranked, but I don't recommend it. But this right here is like you're you're just running shit. Like it, it's just it's satisfying. It's cool. It's fun. I love it. You feel like you're moving 500 miles an hour. It is easily my funnest class. I love playing this in pubs just for the fact that it's just fun. Um, again, this is coming from someone who has played the game for maybe 70 hours now. But for the most part, this is a really good setup. You have your stun gun, um, stun gun. Uh, by the way, I don't know if people know this, but if somebody is capping the point, instead of killing them, if you use the stun gun, it also stops them from capping. So uh, let's say their hands on it and they're about to get it. If you run up to them, instead of let's say it's a heavy and it requires two shots. If you run up to them and just stun gun them, it immediately stops them for whatever they're doing. So if they're if they're about to cap it and you stun them, it gets them off. So nice little tip. You can also use stun gun to kick people off. Um, which I think is is a really, really, really important thing. 
uh, especially if you're if you're playing your your little and you're you're getting in there as like the last one alive to save the point grappling hook i wouldn't even look at it's just kind of like fun it's it's a it's a fun thing but it's whatever um you can also run the v9s the v9s pistol is really good from range especially combined with the cloaking device uh or the evasive dash either one it's just kind of fun but cloaking device is going to be your your bread and butter i think the most fun most satisfying i think is xp54 but pistol is also really good now for your heavy build without a doubt in your mind you are running this and there's no change there's no change you're not going to change this you can change to the lewis gun if you're running one heavy um actually you know what i'll give you i'll give you some top 500 pointers here some top 500 pointers you could technically have one person running lewis gun and one person running the shotgun this gun's too broken right now just run double shotgun i'm just gonna keep it real run double shotgun it's free c4 on on throwables we call that the nuke this instantly one shots this this has 1v3'd countless teams over and over and over again your rpg i mean you one shot littles you do a lot of damage to an aoe it's great so dome shield and mesh shield those are the those are the things right now there's a combination i'm probably going to talk about that in my next video but there's a there's a thing that me and my my the the usual heavies that i run with what we'll do is is they'll throw double dome shield and double mesh shield and i'll stand behind them and i'll cap a point and they are unbreakable unpushable and they'll basically back up on my body so the shield and they'll kind of like swivel in a circle and they'll shield all the damage from every single area i am unstoppable when i'm capping that point and it's a one it's like a it's like a a, a one last stitch effort to cap a point and when you do that 99.9% .9 of the time we cap the point and we'll win from it so this right here is like the setup for your medium when you're running medium double heavy to cap a point this is huge um unless you get glitch grenade if you don't get glitch grenaded you know but for the most part this is your setup um but again little's not really in the meta but it might not it might be seen in the meta that's glitches glitches a, 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 is only if they have a little if they have a little you have to be prepared for it but it's really good um another thing is is one of my heavies that i run with actually runs the goo gun the goo gun um what he was doing yesterday is this gun if strategically used you can actually so what happens is a lot of heavies will throw c4 on top of a, or underneath a, a building and blow down the cash so the 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 whatever the bank they'll drop down the fucking cash and they'll try to cap it what happens is if you have someone with a goo gun they can actually like repair the building almost so that way if they see for it they can just keep putting goo down and it like holds the building together uh which i found to be very very interesting because they were they were like waiting for it to fall but he kept gooing the area so that way it, it didn't blow up uh the cash to, to fall down which i thought was really really cool so for the most part this is going to be your heavy setup um for top 500 you're always going to see this this is the 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 meta what you run um personally the best um the best heavy that i've seen so far it's this guy harvinder harvinder right here has got to be the best heavy i've seen this guy he's live on twitch right now so if you're trying to learn some heavy this dude's a free i'm going to be completely honest with you probably the best heavy i've seen movement wise ability wise he's very clean with it uh big fan of this guy um someone that i run with often uh he's top 50 right now he is fucking insane he's just disgusting he's disgusting um so he'll show uh kind of like the movement of a heavy um how to use dome shield and mesh shield correctly um and stuff like that so that is going to be the tips on how what what to play or what top 500s play in ranked in tournament ranked mode this is what we play 